guys, the deal is done tonight. We're at the old World Trade Center building. Latoya Cantrell saying tonight construction will start right away. At any moment, crews will turn the old World Trade Center building at 2 Canal Street into the city's newest luxury hotel, the Four Seasons. Mayor Latoya Cantrell released a statement late Thursday saying, Construction is going to start right away, and we hope to see New Orleans' very own Four Seasons Hotel up and running by the end of 2020. On the streets, the people that could book those 341 guest rooms were more concerned about consumer benefits. Everybody's not looking for ultimate luxury these days and times. Washing their, their pennies. We're tired. If it's over $400 a night, it's not worth it. I mean, what are you getting for $400 a night? Every hotel has a restaurant, a jacuzzi, and all of that kind of stuff. So if it's less than, if it's over $400 a night, it's just too expensive. 90 residences, two restaurants, over 20,000 square feet of event and meeting space, a spa, fitness center, outdoor pool, observation deck, and a cultural museum. Not really for us because we're on a budget, but I mean, like, Probably if we were like with our parents or something, but I don't know. I don't know. I've never been to a Four Seasons okay. before. Depend on what they would do to draw me in. What I feel like I'm receiving as far as a consumer, the perks that I'm going to receive. But one thing that's a big deal for New Orleans residents is the 450 permanent full-time jobs the new hotel will bring to the city. Speaking of the city, they're looking forward to 10 million annually in property and hotel taxes. And during times like Mardi Gras, the more rooms in the city, the more tax money for New Orleans and the state. And of course, we can't forget to talk about the over 1600 construction jobs while this project will be underway.